Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your uh, bi-weekly love reading for the end of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Gemini. These messages will not resonate with everybody, so take what you want, leave what you don't, and have fun listening to the reading. All right. Spirit and Angels, I ask that you bring me all messages that the collective Gemini need to hear. I'm asking that all messages brought through my cards are for the best and greatest good of our Gemini viewers. Amen. All right. Your first card out, Gemini, is the Five of Pentacles in reverse, dealing with um, some financial issues that are now becoming that of the past, getting over some heartache, some hurt from somebody that left you in the dark intentionally, um, didn't let you in on what was going on. Um, this was a real struggle for you guys, but you you are coming out of that. Yeah, somebody very forceful, somebody very dominating in your life. This could be you as well, but um, they're not using their inner light to guide them. They're not using or raising their vibration to their full potential with the emperor here in reverse. This is somebody who's very condescending, somebody who's very um, dominating, controlling. This could be you or somebody in your space that directly affected your finances or that directly um, made you feel like you were being left out, being left out in the cold. Like I said, this could be you doing this to somebody. I will clarify here in just one second, as soon as your cards get all out. So, um, yeah, this more than likely is somebody that was doing this to you because you're feeling very trapped by a situation. Could have been trapped because of financial issues. Um, this is... Uh, not having the faith in yourself to be able to move forward because you feel that you're um, controlled by a situation or by somebody else. Uh, but these are all just in your thoughts, Gemini. You can break free from that anytime you would like. In the past, um, dealing with this person or this situation, uh, yeah, you felt very vulnerable, very um, like people were personally attacking you, like this person was personally attacking you, but um, you felt very uh, vulnerable and just really out of balance, needing to um, find some balance uh, within yourself, some self-love, some self-healing. Uh, yeah. In your present, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. So you could be um, contemplating leaving somebody that you have children with, somebody that you've known since childhood um, because this person is who made you feel like that or you felt like you were bound to this person because, um, because you have children and you didn't think you could financially afford it. In your future, Gemini, you do have the Two of Wands. So... Um, going within and deciding which, which direction you want to uh, point your sails in and begin to manifest. Really needing to go within in the future here. You need to uh, you need to decide what it is that you truly want, not what this person um, or this situation is wanting from you. All right, your position in this Gemini is you need to make a decision. Um, you are going to make a decision, however. You are going to take that blindfold off to what's been going on. Um, I feel like mostly you're hiding from yourself because um, both these people are blindfolded when easily all you have to do is take that off and you could be free and you have the choice to leave. But I feel you left that bandage on over your eyes to uh, give yourself an excuse not to go anywhere or this person is doing this to you. Um, you intentionally kept yourself bound there because you didn't want to make a decision. You didn't want to hurt somebody by leaving them or you didn't know what you truly wanted. So you just remained um, in the in the victim role almost like you didn't know what direction you wanted to go. So you acted like you couldn't go anywhere. And like I said, this can be vice versa. So I'm not trying to offend anybody, but um, in your environment, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're not telling your, you're not seeking the truth. You're not telling the truth um, or ignoring the truth uh, or somebody around you because this is in your environment. <clears throat> so the divine trying to wake you up to what's really going on. They're trying to wake up to the truth. Excuse me, now my chakra is closing. No truth is being spoken. 
you're not, um, you or somebody in your face is not one to face the fact of what needs to be done. What direction needs to be gone from here. I just heard raising, especially if this is your, if gem your rising sign. Um, they're trying to reach you a truth, the divine. Alright. Um, I do have the hand command in the verse, so, uh, you are going to get out of this state very soon. You are hoping to move forward, because in this time of science, in this of the beta sword, you intentionally yourself, it was as to, um, be able to heal. You bear a purpose, you'll still answer. And they are definitely not living in light. They are living in their shadow side. And, um, and this is why you could be, um, denying the truth about having to leave this person and why you needed this pause in order to prepare to move out of this person's energy. Let's clarify. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this deck. Okay, why is a five of pentacles here for Gemini? The emperor, yeah, this person kept you in this um, lack mentality. This person um, was very controlling. Ugh, God, I don't like this energy, Gemini. Um, they intentionally kept you in the dark about finances, so you didn't feel you had the means to leave. They could have made you quit a job because they didn't want you to have your own income because they were feared that if you did have your in own income and you wanted to leave, you could just go. But now that you don't have a job, you're dependent on them for finances and um, now you're stuck with them. Is is there one situation uh, like train of thought? Why is the Emperor in reverse or challenge? Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This person also could have used uh, children against you, Gemini. Um, if you have small children with this person, they could be using them as a guilty, like uh, a way to guilt you in. And you don't have a job. How are you going to pay child support? How are you going to pay or pay for them to live? Um, this person is they they knew just how to make you trapped, Gemini. They knew exactly how and what they were doing. Why is the Eight of Swords here? You could have tried leaving this person in the past, Gemini. And um, they, you ended up going back to them because they were pressuring you for money, pressuring you for child support, pressuring you 
um, well, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this to the point where you thought I might as well go back because at least they're not going to take everything from me is what I just heard. Um, the eight of swords is uh, being clarified by the six of cups. So this is somebody that you have children with. You feel tied and bound to this person um, because you have a family with them because you have children with them. This is somebody that uh, that you've known for a or not known for a long time. This is somebody that you definitely have children with. Um, this person, like I said, makes you feel vulnerable. You no you no longer fought for um, BTT to leave. You're just like I just will stay because this person is all I can tell. I don't. They gave up, the, gave up what you want or what you needed. Justice for you. you want what you. This is really not a help. Um, for a divorce, be pretty much right where they want you. Right here in reverse for the foundation. Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse. The love here is just draining. Um, they could uh tell you they love you all day long, and then. They act like, you know, this. Oh, where did this card come out? The Queen of Swords. Well, I don't know where it came out, but so I'm going to put it back. But this is needing to cut yourself away from this situation, Gemini. But um, this is just literally draining you. This is um, them and you like oil and water. Like this is just not working for you. Yet um, you have to put yourself on the back burner because you don't know what else to do. Um, it's hard for you to have self-confidence and self-love and self-healing when this person is constantly telling you what you don't provide to the relationship or what you don't, uh, what you don't have, because this person is very, very like egotistical. It's, it is, it is thick energy here, Gemini. Okay. Whew. In your present, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. So you know that this situation is not, not what you want. It's emotionally draining. Um, yeah, it's being clarified by the Eight of Cups. You want to be able to move away from this situation. You want to be able to um, move out of this relationship and still have a relationship with your children. You want to be able to get out of this um Yeah, this just, it seems like you are very bound to this person, very tied to this person, very karmically um, tied to this toxicity that you need to break out of Gemini. That's why you really need to go within in the future. You really need to go in deep and, and ask yourself, can I really do this for forever? What do I want? Um... Yeah, this is two lines. Where life takes you. And not be bound by this one that's stuck around. You want a relationship where you're able to be yourself and there's room for personal growth, um, as well as magic between the two of you. And that's just not what you're dealing with right now. And so you need to go within and figure out how you're going to manifest that, how you're going to um, move forward and let go of that wand that you're you're tied to. And move forward with the other one. Following your own dreams. Following your own magic. Why is the two of swords here in Gemini's position? The five of cups in reverse. So yeah, um, you will make a decision after you mourn the loss of what you're going to have to walk away from. The challenges you're going to have to face to leave this relationship. The possible ugly divorce in court. The... Um, you know, whatever is going to come at you with this person that is very controlling, 
um, you're, once you get over the initial heartache of what you're going to walk away from, um, you are going to make that choice to take that blindfold off and, and make a decision that's best for you. Um, yeah. Why is it Ace of Swords here in reverse? Ace Six of Pentacles. Yeah, um, you're needing to find some balance, Gemini. You need to uh, invest within your own energy. Uh, take a breather. Take a step back. Allow your own energy to balance out because you are giving, 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 giving to this relationship that's only taking. They are not equally giving you back uh, the relationship that you deserve or the same amount of energy that you are putting into trying to make this person happy. The universe is trying to wake you up with this truth. Um, and when that comes in the upright, you will successfully find the divine partner that you deserve. Um, but you have to uh, have the courage to speak your own truth to this person and to stand up to this person. Um, because right now you're not, you're staying silent. You're not telling this person how you feel. You're, you're not telling this person, I'm only here because of the kids. You're not telling this person you know, however the situation is, it's different for everybody. That's just an example, but you need to have the courage to face the fear and stand up and speak your mind and your heart to this person and, um, allow your, uh, allow your truth to be heard. And then your energy will balance out. You will find somebody who will give you the same amount of energy because you are pouring way too much into this relationship and not getting anything back. And it's making you feeling drained, making you feel tired, making you feel like you just don't have much more to give. And, um, and you are going to understand that that's you're, it's going to come to you in this time of, um, wait in this time of pause that you're in right now, you are going to be enlightened by the divine You are going to, is going to hit it and it's going to come to the, you've had it yourself this I see you crying and crying and crying. This is an emotional break, not breakdown, but like you just break down in tears because this isn't the life that you had hoped for. Um, you put up a wall because it's easier to put up a wall and not let that hurtful person in than it is to be vulnerable and allow that person to hurt you day after day after day with the words that they speak, the way they treat you, the way they cut you down. Um, and they're really holding you back from being able to create um, the life that you want, being able to be who you are and be proud of that person. Because in this relationship, you don't, I feel you don't have a voice, really. This person doesn't want to hear it. Why is the four of pentacles here? Thank you. Jeez. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, you are going to let that wall down. You are going to speak your truth in the outcome of this reading. You are going to um, no longer hold back how you really feel. You are um, no longer allowing the thoughts in your head to control the situation. You've been overthinking this, overthinking this back and forth, back and forth within your own mind. Um, and you're no longer going to put up with the battle with this person. Um, there could have been some deceit and some things done to you in the past, Gemini, or you did this to them, but you're not putting up with that sneaky, deceitful um, behavior any longer. Um, yeah, and this is just really trying to sneak away. In the Seth Swords, you have the five in the ground and the two in his hand. So this is him trying to make the decision of whether to uh, walk away from this five of swords, the hurtful, the, you know, the egotistical card. So, um, when it's in reverse, this is making the decision to leave this person who is just an asshole to you. Um, making the choice because the two of swords here is now in reverse as well, making the choice to let the, to lay the swords down, not dealing with their drama, with their, um, crap any longer. And the Knight of Pentacles, because you feel that this isn't going anywhere. 
you may have financial stability with this person, but other than that, it's not going um, in the direction that you had hoped and that you had thought it would. Your bottom of the deck, clarifying the bottom of your other deck. Um, beautiful. Look at that. The sun in reverse is being clarified by the eight of swords in reverse. So now it's flipped from your top um, foundation card up there and is now in reverse. You are not going to be tied and bound to this person that's living in their shadow any longer. They are living in their dark side and not um, allowing themselves to be enlightened by the divine. And you're no longer going to deal with that. You're no longer going to uh, deal with someone and their demons. They're, you know, living in, uh, living in the dark instead of in their light. And you are no longer feeling trapped by this situation. You are going to, uh, oops, you are going to find healing from this, uh, this person who has cut you down, who has really, uh, said things that have been really hurtful. You are literally going to lay everything down and walk away and find healing, find uh, healing in your heart, in your mind, your body, your soul, everything. And you are going to find success moving forward. Um, finding that person that is your true love, but this is also, um, have this person who is very, uh, full of themselves. They have a lot of options, a lot of choices, and you're walking away from that. You're no longer going to be someone's option, um, because you deserve to be their priority. And you are realizing that with the eight of swords, Gemini in reverse, very powerful reading, very, um, yeah, especially if this is, uh, like I said, your rising sign, but especially sun, moon, rising, a lot of you, um, very, very strong, powerful reading here. All right, let's get some advice from the goddess guidance oracle cards. I get one card of advice for our Gemini for the next two weeks. Thank you. All right, your bottom of the deck is peace. There is no need to worry as everything will work out beautifully. Nice. Because you guys are really worried about leaving this relationship. And the card of the next two weeks is true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. But first, you need to walk away um, and get out of this hurtful energy. Uh, Gemini, you deserve true love. Um, and you are manifesting that in your life. So no need to worry. Everything is going to work out just how it's supposed to. If you see her and her child have peace in your heart, because when you move away from this person that is hurting you so bad, the two, you and your family or you and your children, however it fits is going to have peace, eternal peace in your heart and your mind. That is so beautiful. No need to worry. So move forward with confidence, move forward, um, and, and find that self healing, um, with this star card with divine timing. Also my star cards, my divine timing, you, you will have this true love manifest divine timing is now, this is why you are at a crossroads. Follow your own magic. Divine timing is now when this breakup happens. That's when your true love is going to come in, but it's going to take a breakup, Gemini, I'm afraid, before your true love will come in because this, this, my friends, this is not true love. This is not how you treat somebody. No way, no how. So I feel it's going to take a breakup, Gemini, before that true love comes in. But have no fear. Like, like the goddesses say, everything is working out as it's supposed to. So have no fear and have peace in your heart, my friends. All right. I send you guys healing, love, life.